where now you've been reading Romans, you've been studying it, you've been in the group discussing it, and you're maybe midway through the book. And I've got to tell you, it gets better even in the second part. When we get to the second part of Romans, you will see Paul wrestling with how God's grace can include all of us one way or another. You'll see Paul discussing just practical things of how you live a life that really is centered on Jesus as your teacher example and his spirit as the energy for life itself. There are passages about the love of God as the key to the whole thing. There's passages where Paul begins to talk about how do Christians live in community? What if I'm a, a vegetarian and, and you're a vegan and somebody else is a carnivore? Um, and and is, it, is it helpful for me to judge you because you're a vegan or you judge me because I'm a carnivore? And over and over, you didn't know Paul was actually talking about that kind of stuff in Romans. It's worth continuing the study. It's worth running the race to the end and not the end as a terminal point, but the end as the possibility of a new beginning. So I hope you'll continue with it. Don't you get weary. As the old saying says, walk together children, don't you get weary, because there's a great camp meeting in the promised land. God love you, God bless you, and you keep the faith. <laughs>